Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to fix your phone if it is no longer booting and you're just getting that first screen and nothing's actually happening using Jodin, which is Odin for Mac. All the links to these downloads will be in the description. So before we get into this, I want to just to quickly mention, if you haven't already, head over to our second account, Blog Brothers, where we do some cool video montages and time lapses. All the links to that will be in the description of all of our videos. Um, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. It'd be great to see you around. Okay, so what we need to do before we uh, actually head onto the computer with the phone is we need to download the relevant software. So head to the links in the description to download Jodin and you also need to download Heimdall for Mac. If you've got El Capitan, there is a separate link for you to download that file. All the links will be in the description. Second thing you want to do is download a recovery file for your phone. Mine is the GT i9100, so the link for that will be in the description, but it will be for my model number. So if you want to download that, type in your model number followed by what recovery mode you want. For example, I'm using clockwork mod, so you'd write clockwork mod recovery for your model number. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put our phone into download mode. So we're just gonna hold volume down, power button and home button until we get into that screen where it asks us to continue. Okay, so you get a screen that looks like this and now we just press volume up to continue and then we can plug it into the phone and proceed onto the computer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open Heimdall. So you should have this downloaded from all the links in the description that I said earlier. Head over to Utilities and make sure the device is being detected. And now we just want to save a PIT file for the device. So I'm just gonna call it GTI9100 PIT. And I'm gonna choose where to save it and then click Save. And then I'm gonna press Save and then Download. So it's gonna go through all of this, start downloading, um, and then save it onto the desktop. So you can see here that it's only about four kilobytes, so it's a very small file. Now, I already have one saved over here, so I'm just gonna use uh, whichever one I feel like. Um, so now what we can do is open Jodin. Um, now, for this to work, you do need to have uh, Java installed on your device, and that's really simple. Just go onto the internet, type in Java, download that, and then do, do the little test that it asks you to do to make sure that it's still working. So now we've got this open, you can see here it says connected. Now I will say for Heimdall, if it says it doesn't connect at the very beginning, um, try a new cable. If it's not your cable, it's probably the computer, so try a different login on the computer. If you're not the admin, that may be it. Um, alternatively, it's probably something wrong with your computer, so try another computer. If you have another one, that's what worked for me. Um, okay, so going back onto Jodin, here we're just gonna select the PIP file and where we saved it from, so I'm just gonna open it up from the desktop. So here, uh, the PIP file. I'm going to click open and then PDA. I'm just going to select where I saved my uh, clockwork mod compatible file. So that's that there. Now I'm just going to click open and then press start. Okay, so you can see it's running and it's now uploading the kernel. So that usually means uh, it's good. And you can see here it says pass disconnected. So that means we can now disconnect the phone and go back onto the phone. And hopefully we should be able to get into recovery mode so we can flash a ROM. Now if you haven't got a ROM installed on your phone I'll leave a link in the description on how to flash back to stock firmware using Jodin on Mac. So if you're in that situation then I suggest you go ahead and do that. Okay so your phone should probably now be doing something like this. So what you want to do is hold down power button, home button and volume up and you want to head into your recovery mode. So what we're gonna do from here is just factory reset and hopefully we should be ready to go and flash a new ROM. Okay, so you can see here, this is what my uh, recovery looks like. And um, this is a just normal clockwork mod recovery. Yours may look different depending on whether you flashed team win or whatever else you may have flashed. Okay, so what I wanna do here is want to uh, scroll down to install uh, wipe data factory reset and yes, wipe all user data. So this is just gonna go across here with the progress bar and I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so you see here it's now complete. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and flash a new ROM. Now, this is just simple. Um, I've got videos on how to do this, but really quickly just come into install zip, choose it from your SD card where you saved it. And this is obviously assuming that you've uh, previously downloaded one on here that you know works. I'm in this case installing Marshmallow. If you haven't seen the video on how to install this, leave that is in the description and it's in more detail. So we're just gonna press power button to select. Uh, and yes, we want to install this. 
Okay, so this probably is going to take a while to install. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope uh, this helped. I hope if you were in this problem that you've actually been able to fix it using this video. If you are wondering how you install a new ROM and you want to see a more detailed video, I'll leave a link in the description on my newest uh, video on how to do that. Um, and if you've got any problems and you don't have a ROM installed, there is also a video left uh, in the description of how to flash stock firmware onto your phone. Mine, that will actually get rid of root permissions, but if worst comes to worst bases, you should be all right. You should be able to fix your phone. If you have any ideas for videos, also don't forget to let me know. Just leave a uh, comment down below. We always like to hear from you guys. And don't forget to head over to Blog Brothers and subscribe there. Leave a like and subscribe. Live long and prosper.